Hi everyone, this is just a quick video about the new features of GP from Mesh add-on and also some tips about some of the existing features. So let's dive right in. If the object that you're converting has some animation on it and you would like the grease pencil object copy the same animation, all you have to do is go to frame one and convert. And Grease pencil object will be constrained to the main mesh and therefore will have the same animation. This is the default behavior. If, however, you would rather have the mesh object constrained to grease pencil, you can change that from this menu or choose not to have any constraints whatsoever. If, however, the object you're converting has some deformations on it, like this one here that has way modifier applied, in that case, as of this version, you are able to plot the animation. Let's say, select our object. I'll also turn on the outlines, maybe the intersections as well. And let's convert the first frame. And let's say, I also want to go to frame 15 and do the conversion again. On frame one and 15, I have two keyframes on the grease pencil object. So one and frame 15. You can also plot the entire animation if you like either the grease pencil object selected or the mesh object, activate the add-on and turn on the animation button. And let's say we want to plot the animation between frames one and 10. Click OK. Naturally, it'll take a little longer since it's converting 10 frames now. And now we have all 10 frames. Also, because this object actually has quite a few polygons on it, in order to speed up the conversion, you can also use this optimize button. Let's push the end frame to frame 30 and do the conversion again. Now we have all 30 frames converted. And here's our grease pencil animation. As of this version, there's also support for text objects. As you know, text objects are not mesh objects. And uh, even after converting them into mesh, there's a good bit of cleaning up that needs to be done in the edit mode. So GP from Mesh takes care of that for you. A little oversight from the original version was that the 2D flat objects didn't get converted correctly. And with this version, that problem is fixed. Now you can have your flat 2D objects also converted with outlines and fills. I also want to quickly mention that when you're working with an object like this, with uh, varying degrees of thickness, and if you wanted to turn on the outlines and let's say give it a, some outrageous thickness, you might encounter problems like here. Whenever you see something like this, try to increase the clamp value. As I increase the overall thickness, as you can see, the narrow sections are clamped below a certain value. For example, with this bucket here, the clamp value of 0.1 is all I need to protect the narrow sections, like these wires on the handle. As I increase the thickness, everywhere else gets thick but the wires. As a quick little tip, one of the advantages of having the outlines is that your grease pencil object will also cast shadows into the scene. And that's all for now. Enjoy. If you'd like to hear about the new versions of the add-on and find out about new free Blender tools in the future, make sure to subscribe. Download links are below at the description. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.